What's up guys, this is Eggy, and welcome back to Ataraxia. And today, I'm gonna show you how to get started out on one of my favorite servers out there. But, real quick, the first 10 new players to message me in-game the second this video goes live are to grab themselves a free bonus mystery box. If you guys didn't actually know, Ataraxi is a super clean higher revision server running off the NXT client, hence these beautiful graphics. But this server has taken the RuneScape 3 path, minus the abilities, so it's the same pre-EOC combat. They honestly have so much to offer content-wise. From Ascensions, to God Wars Dungeon 2, to even the Elite Dungeons, and more. Link down below, guys. Either way, real quick before the video, once again, Adaraxi sponsored another video on my channel and hooked you guys up with a huge giveaway. So, today, two lucky commenters are each gonna walk away with $50 Adaraxia store credit. This is huge, and you can honestly get so much with it. Be sure to enter today, guys, and of course, if you want a chance to do so, make sure to like the video, comment your Adaraxia IGN down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel. As always, though, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and let's get into it. So, first off, like most servers, you're gonna be greeted with your game modes and XP modes. Normal for 50 times XP, Expert for 25 but a 5% drop rate, Legendary for 5% and a 10% drop rate, and Realism for 1x but a 20% drop rate boost. As well for game modes, there's the regular count, regular Iron Man, the hardcore Iron Man, and then group Iron Man with up to 4 players in a group. Before you actually get started on the game, I do recommend opening up all the settings and changing things to pretty much your own liking. Like, this game has a lot you can change. Feel free to go through these yourself guys, but notable ones are going to be the Legacy game mode first of all. This tab essentially makes it so you can switch between Legacy or a beautiful RS3 look. Personally, I'm more into the RS3. And you can also enable and disable the action bar for abilities like Surge and Restricted Areas, but honestly mainly for quality of life, so adding like prayers, potions, foods, even skilling supplies on your action bar. Also inside of the interfaces, there is a massive list. Again, you can pretty much customize this game to whatever you want, but most importantly, the graphics. Graphics are a big one since you're running on the NXT client. This makes RuneScape virtually limitless, so set these graphics based on your current PC specs and personal preferences. With my beautiful 2070, I can thankfully max everything out. Anyway, starting off with a quick tour at home. Real quick, we have the Slayer Master, Grand Exchange, and the Bank. The Altar of War for prayers and spells as well. You can also use Bones on here too. The Bonfire Completion Escape Requirements and the Skilling Masters. A similar system to Slayer, grabbing yourself contracts to do various tasks, come back, grab yourself some points, at 50 tasks completed you unlock the shop, at 500 tasks completed you unlock advanced Skilling Masters. Down the path real quick, Thieving Stalls for starter money, also the Crystal Chest over here, the Player Owned House, all of the PVM Hub Teleports, and then real quick into the East, or of course colon colon shops, are pretty much all of Ataraxia's shops here. Back to the center, the purple teleport portal is the main place to get around the game. We have all the PVM teleports, so early mid-level monsters, slayer monsters, and then all of the scaling teleports. As well, on top of that, hit escape into the quest here, and then into the beast. We can also teleport directly to whatever monster just as so. That's also where you're going to be finding yourself your kill count, your best times, the special awards, and of course collection logs. But there is a huge list of everything RS3, from Araxor, Elite Dungeons, everything dude. If you honestly quit RuneScape 3 because of the abilities, but were still somewhat interested in the path that RuneScape 3 took, the lore, the bosses, everything like that, I've always said this dude, Ataraxia is a perfect server to check out. It lets you explore everything just how you want it dude. Anyways, now that we know what the game is, how to get around the game, how do we actually get started? So you do of course get yourself a decent gear setup and a decent bit of cash, but of course I am going to recommend thieving for a little bit, grab yourself that base cash stack. After that, head over to the shops, grab yourself whatever gear, potions, food supplies you think you'll ever need. And then honestly, like most servers, I'm going to recommend Slayer. Slayer is a great start out because getting yourself the custom Slayer drops, combat XP, of course Slayer XP, unlocking more monsters. Slayer's always all around a great head start. On top of that though, if you do get bored of killing monsters, you can run over to the Skilling Contract Masters, grab yourself a contract, it's pretty simple, and it is based on combat, so since this account has no stats, cut 24 regular logs, go do that, come back, bada bing, bada boom, easy money. You'd be surprised with how easy Dungeoneering honestly is on this server. 
Same concept as RuneScape 3, run through the dungeons, kill the bosses, get XP, and get tokens. On both series that I've actually done on this server, Dunge was one of the first goals that I actually went for. For the fact, inside of the shops here, you can buy yourself Tier 80 Chaotix right away. For 200,000 points, Tier 80 Degradable Weapon will last you a very long time. I know some people hate doing Dungeoneering, myself, I honestly love running through it, but with free tier 80 weapons, definitely a huge upgrade. And yeah, that's pretty much how you're going to be basing all of your upgrades, guys, is for the most part by the tier of the weapon. So for example, the Abyssal Whip, tier 70. Then we have Chaotix at tier 80, tier 82s. We have tier 85, 87, 90, and 92 that you can all jump through. But with defense, it's a little different in the sense that there's power armor, so DPS armor, and there's tank armor. It's definitely sick, and with the amount of upgrades and bosses that you're powering through, the progression feels so good here. So, maybe you followed my path at the Chaotix, you got yourself some tier 80s now, maybe you didn't, you just did some Slayer. Either way, gear-wise, a huge thing is pest control. And like, pest control, yeah, whatever, it's pest control, but honestly, dude, this is pest control like you have never seen it before. Not only is everything graphically updated, and looking beautiful, the games themselves not only feel a little bit different, they give a ton more supplies, and instead of the normal Elite Void that we're used to, we can actually upgrade it past that to the Superior Elite version. But the Superior Elite Void can easily, easily carry you past the God Wars Dungeon 2 stage of this game, which is like, honestly, pretty mid to late game. The Void Grind honestly isn't even that bad with hugely increased points and double points often. So like, with the amount that Superior is an upgrade, get the Pest Control, boys. Jump on one of the events and grab yourself a set. And yeah, essentially, buy yourself a Void, upgrade it to Elite, and buy yourself the Armor Patch to the Superior set. Obviously, grabbing yourself boss tasks or death tasks is going to be a great way to actually get around bossing. And you get your points to buy yourself the Hydrix to sell for the jewelry to get a ton of money. But bossing on the server is probably one of my favorite things. Like, sure, I can go scaling, cool, whatever. But, like, the things that I haven't done before, Araxi, that is super fun. Rise of the Six, so Barrows 2, all of the Elite Dungeons, God Wars Dungeon 2, like, everything, dude. KK... Coming soon, Raksha. And what I see a lot of people actually doing on this server is since bossing is fairly easy, a lot of people camp out collection logs. Grab yourself that huge PVM loot tab you've always dreamed of. I'm also going to link this down below, guys, but there's also an Ataraxia starter guide. It's got a ton of useful info, tips, tricks, everything like that. As well, though, something huge is the Ataraxia Discord. Even if you don't have a microphone, I highly recommend joining this just for the amount of info on here. Updates, announcements, giveaway, media, but more importantly, a massive list of every single skills, a ton of different combat guides, and a hugely active community that is more than happy to help out. I have honestly spent a ton of time around the Ataraxia community, and I've said it for so long, dude, this server is hands down one of my favorites. Like, I got no downsides playing this game, dude. Either way though guys, I am going to start wrapping up today's video here. Make sure to give this server a shot if you haven't already, for real. I'm in love with this server, so many others are. I highly recommend it. But of course, make sure to enter for that massive giveaway, and of course to join mine in the Ataraxia Discords by using the links down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and later!